Today, gang, I want to show you how to get a badass desk from Ikea for under $100, or at least how I did it. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's get into this. everybody it's biggie first and foremost i want to thank you for stopping by today's video be sure to leave a like subscribe all that jazzy stuff if this video helps in any way shape or form so as mentioned in the start of the video i wanted to show with you guys how i built this ikea desk now just for transparency the one that i'm currently sitting on right now or, or using while recording this video that you guys just seen at the beginning of the video it actually was a little bit more than a hundred dollars it was like 130 dollars because i ended up getting this on display sale disc discount shelf shelving drawer drawers ikea drawers so because of those it was a little bit more but if you were not to go that route you could definitely get this set up for under a hundred bones and i just wanted to show you guys a little researching so the thing about furniture the thing about stores like ikea and any furniture store is a lot of stores actually offer a breakdown in their product that just people don't think to ask they only see the things that are on display so for example if you were to go to a furniture store and see a desk a desk setup or or even a dining room table for God's sakes. If you like the top, but you don't like the leg or if the cost of the product overall is just astronomical because at the end of the day, I think that's what everybody's trying to do. They save a little bit of money, right? Nothing wrong with that. Save a little bit of money. People don't think to ask, hello, sir or, or ma'am. Can I get just the tabletop? Could I just get the desktop, the countertop? Is that possible? Or do I have to get the whole set? Simply asking that, you actually find out that there's a, an array of options when it comes to that type of stuff. Before I went to Ikea, I had to go to a furniture store. I actually have a vlog up on my channel about this, this journey that I had last week. So make sure you guys are checking out the vlog channel as well. But I went to a furniture store at first and I really loved this desk that was there, but it was like $600. I even told him, I was like, man, this, this desk is sick, but I don't really like the bottom portion. I don't want all the like, you know, the angling and, and the legs that it has to offer. I, I would like to just use my own legs. And they're like, oh, well you can just actually buy the top for $200. And it's like, what? Why has nobody been telling me this for all these years that I can just simply ask to buy a smaller portion? But I mean, it makes sense. These tables and sets and stuff, they come in pieces. They come built. That's how the company has to, to put them together to sell them. And then that's how they actually package out to places. So if, if a company maybe has just a couple extra tops laying around, why wouldn't they sell it? Now, that doesn't guarantee that you're gonna have a top every single time. Journey with me through the world of Ikea and the world of convenience. <laughs> And again, gang, like I was mentioning, I did just move to North Carolina. We are actually in the process of moving everything down south right now. So make sure you guys are subscribing to the vlog channel to keep up to date with that. So I am at Ikea. They have Ikeas everywhere. So I don't want to hear like, oh, what if I don't have Ikea in, in my area or something? Well, I, I mean, order online, I guess, and get it shipped to you. Work with what you have, people. As I navigate Ikea and try to find where United States is, bingo, because I'm from the United States. What people will typically do is type in products and then like if they want to do a desk, obviously they'll do like off Office furniture they'll click desk and computer desk and you'll see these like pre-built things and some of these are cool but they're not that attractive but, I mean these are good deals by the way I do, I do want to point that out these are really good deals like to get something like this for $220 that's that's a steal that is an amazing deal but what I am just trying to introduce to you guys and gals is that you can actually build something like this yourself and a lot of people are like how did you find the wood that I have for here so these are things that I suggest to do so in the search bar what you would do for like my old setup for example is i actually got a countertop for my old setup so if you guys remember the setup in ohio and i'm actually bringing this table down here i actually just used a countertop that you see here so hundred dollars for the 98 inches or you can get the the 74 inch as well so something like this if you are actually at ikea you might not think like a countertop so you might be in the the computer desk area and you see all the the desktops which i think on display they really just have like kind of like the the plain Jane ones, you know what I mean? That's another thing that's weird. And I wanna show you guys in the video is like they hide good material sometimes. Like this top wasn't in the store. But again, that's what people will do. They will go to the store. They will just search through the sections that they have actually organized. And then they think that's it. That's all they have there. That's all they, they have the ability to use. For example, I know quite a few people that have actually used this 
uh, countertop right here as their desk setup. It's sick. It's honestly dope. This this right here alone is is badass because for $189, if you wanted to go just like high end, cool countertop, walnut, veneer, $189. So now if I search table leg, ba -da -da -ba -ba. look at what comes up. Look at that. Four dollars for your basic starting off leg. So you use that one hundred eighty nine dollar countertop. At the very least, get four of these legs, unless you can balance it on something else. Right there, you're looking at two hundred dollars for a badass looking desk. But what I personally got on one side for this, and what I personally would suggest is a is a, a trussle, something like this. Got a lot more stability. Very easy to put together. Again, fifteen dollars. You buy two of them, thirty dollars. Right there for legs. So this time around I wanted to go with a bigger desktop like deeper so what I did this time is I actually typed in desktop into Ikea and I searched through all the desktops that they have to offer and again a lot of these are not on display so as I was looking through these materials search through the next page and I seen this just hanging out towards the back so the bad thing for this particular desk in itself is it's not available online but if you would like go through this section and check to see right like right here st louis it's it's available in store right now last i seen the other day when i was there like they weren't on display nobody was talking about them nobody was suggesting this desk or a couple other desks that were in like a cool material as well but not only did they actually have it there but they had like 15 of these these desktops so make sure it's in stock in your store so for me charlotte north carolina what you do is you click this little button right here click here to view stock prognosis prog osmosis it'll tell you product availability blah 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 i don't know why that says arizona i just literally had in north carolina selected but it will actually tell you the aisle and bin that it is at so again let's go to table leg i would highly suggest that if you have like a 200 dollar budget for a, a table or like a 300 dollars budget definitely get the alex drawer unit and those things are really good they're kind of annoying together but again say you like these black legs right here choose your store figure out uh, what store i'm just gonna click arizona right here because it's on the top of the list click the prognosis boom aisle 10 bin 27 it will straight up tell you hot sauce all day long where it is at overall gang i just wanted to share with you guys how i was able to build such a, a cool little desk setup for the time being like this isn't anything crazy it's not real hard wood like it's it's fake stuff but it looks cool and i think for a lot of people that's all they want and it's sturdy i'm holding my entire setup on it i just wanted to show you guys and gals how you guys could think outside the box with this you don't have to get this particular setup you don't have to get the marble looking countertop that i got head on over to the ikea website see what they have there for you see what actually stands out for you and the colors that you actually like and find out if it has it there so that way you can just build it up for the most affordable price and again the biggest thing is just questioning your ability to to like make something to build something I know it's super convenient to just buy like a set thing. You know what I mean? It's already picked out for you. You pay more money and it's like, it's planned out for you to build it. But like, you still have to build it too. Like you still have to put those together. So I just don't see why you wouldn't, uh, want to maybe take a, a trip to Ikea or, or something and build your own desk, do your own thing. And personally, for me, I just think it's so cool. You get a little bit creative with it, have a little fun, and it's it's just your world, what you've created. So I'd highly suggest right now, by the time of this video coming out, if you had this tabletop that I have, this like, it looks like kind of like black wood planks. If you had that available in your local Ikea, at the very least, if you're in the North Carolina area, because I know for a fact, it is on sale for 50% off right now. I highly suggest that you get on Ikea, find that tabletop countertop that you like, print things out that have like the actual numbers and share information. Go there, talk to somebody. I know like the countertop area, you actually have to go to the kitchen area and, and ask them for a countertop and the sizing, but actually go to these stores, check the pricing, ask because things go on sale, things go on discount. I would have literally been able to buy two legs for $15 and this desktop for $50 to be an $80 desk setup. That is actually pretty badass. Like for $80 at Walmart or, or somewhere, you're not going to beat this. And then since you saved so much money, what you should do is you should buy yourself a badass, uh, a badass chair. Um, I might have a, a link to a cool chair company that you should snag. This chair is uh, low key one of the best chairs, like genuinely that I've 
ever used. Had a lot of opportunity to uh, use a lot of chairs when I was down south at all the gaming houses and nothing compares to Secret Labs. I'm just, I'm, I'm throwing that out there, chat. Let me know if this video helped in any way, shape or form. Again, be sure to follow me on the vlog channel so you can check that out. By the way, I have a video coming out where I'm gonna explain how I built this and where I got a lot of these, these cool things. I'm also gonna be coming out with a long-term review of the Model O mouse. So big thumbs up if you guys are excited by that. I also have a review of the most insane laptop ever coming soon. So make sure you guys are subscribing and turning on those notifications for a lot more content. If you guys have any questions or need any additional links to anything, maybe maybe if I have time to like research something for you, please leave the question or suggestion in the comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out of this mother. I'm out of here. Later. Deuces.